Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Healthspan. In the longevity community, there have been questions on NMN safety and the storage of NMN. Does it need to be kept in a fridge or a freezer? Will NMN be degraded during the delivery anyway, as it generally is not shipped or stored in a temperature controlled environment? NMN has been on the market a few years, and as my wife and I are now on our first anniversary of taking NMN, we decided to do some investigation on any improvements in the technology of making the molecule especially related to aspects of improving the purity and increased stability. Since there are so many NMN providers now, to be focused, we decided to look into detail into one of the largest manufacturers, Effafarm, who provide details of how their NMN is produced and specific methodologies they've adopted to improve the NMN stability. First, a disclaimer, we are not paid by Effafarm to make this video, nor can we check any of their specific claims. You may have heard of the name Youthever, it's an NMN brand from FA Farm, an NMN manufacturer based in Shanghai, China. Now many NMN brands are partnering with them. In a speech for an award event in Guangzhou last month, the company mentioned that Youthever has about 70% market share and they have become the world's largest NMN manufacturer. According to FA Farm Company News in September this year, they have developed a more stable and higher purity second generation NMN. Let's get into what process they have made to improve the stability and purity of NMN. First, for improved stability. After analyzing NMN, it was discovered that it has an inner salt structure. Water has a polar molecule, will induce electrical transfer within NMN that can destroy this stable structure. So water content in the product and free water molecules in the air will directly bring down the purity of NMN. However, they found that the regulation of pH value can control the internal NMN structure. Using this, their research team controls the water content to no less than 1% to improve the NMN stability. This led to a new NMN structure with orderly and compact microscopic arrangement and launched a new generation of high-density NMN. The first generation of NMN products had a sawtooth structure you can see in figure 3. The second generation of NMN is more orderly and compact as shown in figure 2. Next, for purity, any single impurity is not higher than 0.5% and total impurities are not higher than 1%. Nuclear magnetic resonance and liquid chromatography mass spectrometry test reports can further confirm the authenticity, high quality and purity of the NMN. We have seen the providers who partner with the youth ever have third party tests and stability reports on their sites. Please check with your preferred provider. As user of NMN, it is good to see that the manufacturers are continuously making the effort to improve the quality and stability of NMN. Here is a report from one of YouthEver partners which shows the stability of their product over a three month period when stored at 104 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 40 degrees C. This speaks to the stability of the product at normal temperatures. Next, an update on NMN clinical trials. For human trials, so far there is only one trial that has been conducted and completed in February this year by Keio University in Japan. The goal of the trial was to evaluate the safety of orally administered NMN. The conclusion was that the single oral administration of NMN of up to 500 mg was safe and well tolerated in healthy men without causing any significant deleterious side effects. This is another reason we chose to talk about Youthever in this video. They are the first NMN manufacturer to conduct a human trial on efficacy of NMN. We found they have updated the clinical study page last month. Let's discuss some points we found interesting. This will be a multi-center, randomized, double-blinded, parallel design, placebo-controlled study in 66 healthy adults, both male and female, with an age between 40 and 65 years old. The purpose is to evaluate the efficacy and safety of NMN when orally administered in middle-aged and older adults. The trial will be conducted in India. All 66 enrolled subjects will be instructed to take capsules of either NMN or a placebo with water once a day after breakfast for 60 days. To assess its safety, physical examinations, blood chemistry tests, BMI, HOMA will be performed at baseline and at the end of the study. Blood cellular NADH and NAD plus concentrations in serum will be determined to confirm its ability to increase NAD levels in the human body. The primary result will be out at the end of this month and the secondary outcome will be out in January next year.
hopefully early next year, we will be able to see this result. Thank you all for watching. I hope that you found the video informative. We shall keep you informed on the status and update on both NMN trials and technology. Please stay tuned. Please do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell button for new video release notifications. It encourages us to continue to create more videos about anti-aging and extending healthy lifespan. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and will speak to you again soon.